Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Multi24 Gaming and I am here with Dovetail Games' Train Sim World. As you can see, we are here to learn how to drive more trains. Three more trains, um, the Great Western Express. Uh, so as you can see here, CSX Heavy Hall and then the Great Western Express that we can go right into. Um, and what we're going to do is learn how to drive a high speed train, a commuter train, as well as a Class 66. Uh, which is basically some sort of Deutsches Bahn uh, German shunting train, I think. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to find out. So as you can see, we're going to start with the Class 43 introduction. And um, also tell you a little bit about this railway once we get into the loading screen, because it does seem to take its dear sweet time. Basically, the Great Western uh, Railway is uh, a railway that runs from London's Paddington Station, I think it goes west. And, um, whoa, that was fast. And it's a very, very well-known and famous railway. This is the Class 43 high-speed train in Great Western Railway livery. Great work on being accepted as a driver for GWR. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this iconic train, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Oh, yes. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Well, let me take a look around first. Let me just take a look at this thing. Ooh, that's good looking. Hello. Oh, look at the shininess. Look how shiny in the... Ooh, look at the reflection. That's pretty impressive. Okay, we're going to go up. She put out stairs for us. That's that's nice of her. We're going on in. And when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. Okay, take a look around. Hmm, very nice. Okay, and I can sit down in the driver's seat. Okay, we're in the train seat. Um, precision control. I can right click and then click on the things First, individually. You need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. All right. So unlock the reverser. Set Good. the reverser handle into the neutral position. And this needs to go into neutral. Ah! That alarm is the AWS self test system. Okay. You will need to acknowledge this before continuing. Press the AWS reset button. Yeah. Are you gonna tell me where that is? Oh, okay. The Man, that was annoying. Best part, hearing the engine revs build and starting to feel the power this powerful locomotive holds. <laughs> okay, lady. The engine start button on the desk there. She might have something for big locomotives. All right, engine start. <laughs> okay. Things right. start to get a little more complicated from here, but we'll take it step by step. More complicated. Set the to day headlamp and markers. Okay. Oh man, how am I gonna remember where all this stuff is? Day headlamps and markers. Put the train in forwards, so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. Okay, we're going into forward. That's after. Yeah. Okay, we gotta wait for the brakes to charge. Oh, look at that train! Now this one gets up to a pretty fast speed. I think this thing goes, I think, about 125 miles an hour. Um. Woo hoo hoo! Looks so nice. Oh man, I can't wait to get this thing going. Come on. Come on, let's move. Let's move. Let's take a look around. What's going on out here? Some sort of train yard. It looks like we're going to be... Wait, which side am I on? Yeah, okay, we're going to be heading out that way. Okay, that makes more sense. And is there anything interesting to see? I know uh, my good, good friend and follower... Um, the gaming cow would be very interested in seeing cows, so if those were to show up, that would be very nice. Um, because uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason he'll watch this video is if there's cows. Oh, look at these train tracks. Ooh. Oh yes, I'm a bug. I'm a bug. I'm a bug that has kind of a little thing for big metal rods. What am I doing? Okay, this is awkward. Ah. Okay. All right, I'm getting back in the train. Ah. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this train moving. Ease the throttle handle into notch one. D did we not turn off the brakes? Where are the brakes? Throttle. All right, into notch one we go. Okay. It says use cam keys number one to eight. Oh, eight. Oh, this is the free camera. Oh, look at it. It's starting to go. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Look at that thing move. Choo-choo. 
getting up to speed. Fast enough for now. To maintain our current speed, step the throttle handle back to idle. You sure, lady? You think this is fast enough? You don't want to go a little bit faster? You know I can go faster. I am showing real confidence. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so the brakes were on running, so we're going to do it to initial, and the train's basically going to stop itself. Um... The brakes are going to stop it, but it's going to take a little bit of time. With trains, it's not like cars. You can't slam on the brakes and have the train go and stop. It, like, takes some time. Sometimes it takes, like, a mile to slow down a train. So, uh, so we got to be sort of thinking ahead when it comes to driving these things. Okay, good deal. I'm excited. All right, we are continuing. Oh, it took us five minutes and one second. Man. All right, come on. Good. All right, let us go on to the next tutorial. This is the class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit. Start it up. Get it moving and then bring it to a stop. Get it moving. Start by climbing aboard the unit. All right. Enter through the cab door in front of you. This is a nice looking train. So this is a sort of commuter regional train, I guess. Um very nice. GWR. That's a very nice looking train. And what's interesting about these is that they are all diesel powered, as in they all have stacks. In Europe, most trains actually are electric, but not these. These are all independent of uh, electricity, which is interesting to say the least. Uh, interesting for Europe. All right, so we're going to go right in and get in this train. All right, so uh, we're in the train. And when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. Okay, so she's given us the go to take a look around. We can go back there, but not right now since this is the tutorial. Foam fire extinguisher. Okay. Can open this door and ah! fall out. Oh, and then you got little steps here. She's still being nice to us, and she keeps putting these steps up for us. Um, I'm just like walking around the train at first, just to get a feel for it before we start driving it. Um, but let's get in the driver's seat and see how to drive this thing. Hopefully, it's similar to the other one. All right. Yep. Do that. Good. Know how to do it. Sweet. Let's see what she's got for us. Starts by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Okay, so unlock the reverser. Boop. Okay. Press the reverser handle into the neutral position. Okay. Ah! That's even more annoying. Ow! Yeah, seriously. You will need to acknowledge this before continuing. Press the AWS reset button. Ah! There. Okay. Ooh, that's done. Charge the brakes. Before charge the brakes. The engine. Oh, to to charge the brakes, huh? Throttle brake to full service. Okay. Gosh, I totally forget about this stuff. Full service. That's gonna charge them. Hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. You know, I would think that would be more like uh, that would be more like sort of the putting the parking brake on before you know turning the car on on a hill or something, so you don't turn it on in neutral. Um, engine start is all the way over there. Got to remember that. Now set the headlights today. Oh, okay. Uh, dead day. Okay. Train in forwards, so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. Okay, we're going into forward now. There we go. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Okay. Oh, yep, I can hear him. Oh, I think we're starting to move without even going. Okay, that's why we charge those brakes. Okay. Oh, so the throttle and the brake are the same thing. I think I... Yeah, I did. Did I put brake one or throttle one? I think I did throttle one. Yep, it's starting to move. Let's go. Wants us to get up to 16 kilometers an hour. I would not want to go to work on this train. It is so slow. Come on. Move it. Move it or lose it, buddy. Go faster. 
Don't worry, guys. I'm telling you right now, if the speedometer means anything, uh, we're going to get this train going way faster. Not in this video, but in future videos, we're going to make this train go fast. Zaya, Zaya, Schnell. All right. That's it. Throttle's going to seven. Okay, we're actually going faster than we should be. No! Yes. Stop talking, woman. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Ah, breaking one. Woo! There we go. Maybe, uh, nope, breaking one. We're just going to have to sit on this. Hopefully we don't, you know, run aground. Run aground. I've still got my ship simulator pants on. I don't know why I said pants either. Stop train. There we go. Yeah, see, that would be very bad if we uh, ended up up there. <laughs> Sweet. All right. And. Ah. You're ready to head out there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. I'm going to do just fabulously. All right. Sweet. Okay, so we learned how to drive the class 166. Um, we didn't really learn how to open or close the doors or anything, which is kind of important, but I think that's what we're going to learn on the stopping at a station tutorial. We are going to move on to the next tutorial, which should be the, the Deutsches Bahn, whatever it is. Um, see, that's an S-Bahn right there. Um, it's going to be a German-looking train. Oh, station stopping. Okay, fine. I guess we still have to continue the Class 166. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at bringing a class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. Twyford. Okay, start, let's do it. Bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward, and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go to forward and stick this to, uh, it'll only let me go to one. I guess the brakes have to release first. As you can see, the brake pressure went all the way down right there. As soon as it hits there, then that allows the train to start moving. It is a bit bizarre that the throttle and brake are the same thing, but I guess that's good so you don't have the throttle like on max. Okay, five. We're going to five. Woo! Something's working back there. Come on, train. Speed up. Chug it, 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 chug it. That's a cool view. Whoa. Now, she wants us to get this thing up to 40 miles an hour. She's got it crazy. 40 miles an hour is pretty fast. Um, it's faster than I've ever gone uh, so far. So, we're going to have to see. I don't know how far we are at either. There's no like, mini-map that I've been able to find. If any of you guys know of one, please let me know. Because I, I'm getting kind of worried. Like, sometimes I have no idea where the stop is. As you can see, there's no checkpoint right now. It's supposed to tell us, but... um, Alright, we're at 40... She should start talking. There we go. Alright, let's just coast. So I guess the train has so much mass that, or momentum is probably the right word, that after it's already going, then we can just keep it going. We can just put it in idle and let it go. Um, and it'll basically keep up the same speed. Like, there's not enough friction to counter the, you know, the momentum of such a big and heavy train. Oh, okay, that's coming up pretty fast. Um, is that throttle one or braking one? She hasn't told us to do anything. I don't know if we're supposed to... I don't know what that means. Does she expect us to stop there, or...? I don't know. Whatever, we'll have to find out. <laughs> like, lady, I'm kind of missing you right now. <laughs> Come back, please. British lady. We want to aim to stop at the S board at Twyford. Okay. Fly some brakes now and follow a gentle, smooth braking line right down to a stop. Okay, so I'm going to apply some brakes now. That's what she wants. Um, 
I feel like we're gonna stop before we even get there, but I'm gonna just trust what she's saying, and um, hopefully we won't stop before we even get to the station. I don't know. It's... That looks like a good smooth pull-in, but usually trains come in quite a bit hotter than this, I feel. Yeah, see? We're coming in really slow now. We're just gonna coast. See, that's ridiculous. No, we're gonna go fast. Seven! See, this is how I drive. I, I end up going to like seven and then full emergency brakes. Yeah, here we go. Boom! This is not how you're supposed to drive a train, but good enough. Yes, objective complete. Passengers are ready to start boarding. Release the left doors using the button on the left of the desk. Wait for the boarding, then close the doors. To release the right still doors, moving. the button is on the right side of the desk, but you won't need that for now. Okay. Shoot, the train is still moving. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna... Yep. Oh, the train stopped. Phew. Is that it? Train door release. Is that gonna open them? Oh, I heard him open. What was that? Staying forward. <laughs> nope, that's gonna stay in off. Actually, full service, yeah. We want the brakes on so our train doesn't move. Can we get out? Nope, reverser, stay where you are. Ah! Shoot, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let me out of my chair. I want out of my chair. Fine. Okay, everybody got on. I'm gonna close the doors using this button. That was great. Driver judgment plays a big part towards a nice clean stop at stations, but you'll learn that after some practice of your own. Alright, sweet. Okay, we've done it. Five minutes. We drove 1.4 miles and we went pretty fast about it too. Uh, I think we got there on time and we got all the passengers on the train. And now we're going to continue to drive. Hopefully it'll actually take me to the right tutorial. I think it will. For some reason, the tutorials are loading so much faster. I'm not sure why. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, there it is. The BR Class 66. So you can see DB means Deutsche Bahn. Schiene seems like a German word. Um, that's what we're going to be driving. All right, here we go. Class 66 introduction. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, look at you. Yes, Class 66 diesel locomotive, nicknamed Shed because of how it looks. Looks like a shed. This locomotive used to haul aggregates up and down the Great Western Main Line. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this powerful freight locomotive. Start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Nice. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, lady, what happened to the, <laughs> what ha, what happened to the stepping stools that you provided earlier? I have to, oh, okay. I was about to say, uh, yeah, I'm not that tall. Oh, we're in. Woohoo! Okay. Ah, nope. Okay, back up the ladder. We're in. Take a look around. And when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. Huh. Not that bad, actually. I mean, there's no controls or... Oh, that makes more sense. Is there another one over here? Okay, whatever. Hi there, lady. Um, I'm sorry, but you are going to... I'm going to have to... Yeah. I don't know if I became her or if I kicked her out. Oh, man. This looks weird. This looks complicated. First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by turning the master key on. Okay, so where's the master? Where? Is that it? Oh. Now get the engine started. Set the engine run switch, generator field switch, and the control and fuel pump switch all to on. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna totally forget about all this. Use the engine start button on the desk. Then wait for the engine to get running and set the isolation switch to run. Okay, so the isolation switch is probably that one there. This is the engine startup button. It's gonna start up that big old engine in the back there. Oh yes, look at that power. Oh, <laughs> I like that sound. 
All right. Um, and then this needs to go on. So this, 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 that, that. Braking system. Before we go anywhere, we need to run a quick brake test. First, hold the auto brake handle in the release position until the brake pipe control needle in front of you reaches five. That means the brakes are completely released. Okay. So this is how we do our brake test. Apply. Oh yeah, no, we gotta hold it, release. Until that needle right there on the brake pipe control hits five. That'll mean that our brakes are completely released. Good. The brakes now need charging, so a full application is needed. This time, hold the auto brake handle in the apply position until the brake pipe control needle is at three. Okay, so now we're gonna apply it till it gets to three. The brakes are working as they should. Okay. All you need to do now is fully release the brakes again so we can get moving. Alright, let's fully release them. No, release. Back to five, I guess. So we go five, three, five. Okay, sweet. Time to get moving. Turn the headlights and marker lights on. Gosh, okay. Headlights. Daytime, right? Okay. Put the train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser, set the handle into forward. Okay, here's the reverser. Now I know how to do this stuff. And then now the throttle. The last of the what? The parking brake. There's a parking brake? Okay, that's the parking brake. Help me remember that, guys. Now apply some power and get this train moving. Ease the throttle handle into notch one. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, yes. That's going to get this thing going. Ho ho ho, that's such a big and powerful train. Look at it. I don't know why only one headlight is on. I think this is fast enough for now. Ho, ho, ho. To maintain our current speed, set the throttle handle back to idle. Back to idle. Okay. Uh, I would it. say that's probably zero. Let's yeah. Bring the train to a gradual stop. Oh, look at that car. Using the auto brake handle in the apply position again, get the brake pipe control needle in front of you to around to apply a gentle application and then let the brakes do the rest okay so if we want to apply it we want to apply it till it gets to like four there we go see so we're watching that needle right there and then the train should slowly come to a stop the throttle's on idle so that's not a problem it is a bit bizarre that the brakes are like this thing and you have to watch this to see how much they're applied out there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. Oh man, we are going to do just fine. I cannot wait to go on seriously awesome train tastic <laughs> adventures with you guys. I hope you enjoyed learning with me how to drive these three trains as well as how to open the doors on the class 166. Is that what it was? I'm not going to remember the names of these trains for the life of me. Um, but as you can see, there are many, 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 many scenarios and services that we can perform together in videos. So if you guys know of any, uh, scenarios that you would really like to see as you can see uh, here they are let me know and I would be absolutely happy to uh, test them out with you and see how they go and maybe make a multi part see this one's 60 minutes long so I could do 20 minutes 20 minutes and 20 minutes part one two and three so it depends or I could make one 60 minute one and we could just have a big long video together or I could make it 60 minutes and cut a ton of it you know it all depends. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed, and I cannot wait to make more of these videos with y'all. See you guys later. Bye-bye.